uh, let's move to the next presentation. Uh, it's uh, also about uh, actually beginning of the process, isn't it, in uh, Adriatic uh, Union Sea. Um, so I give floor to Francesco Musco uh, from uh, very complex uh, name. No, it's okay. Uh, University of Venice. It's University enough. of Venice. <laughs> Thanks a lot for thanks a lot for the invitation of the organization. Um, uh, yes, uh, Adriplan project is a, a new initiative supported by the DG Mare that uh, started uh, more or less five months ago. Uh, it's a how can I say? It's a so I, I usually say that is a sort of experiment. It's an experiment because. Uh, uh, we don't have we don't have any indication in the national legislation related to the countries involved uh, on MSP. So it's the new the new thing apart from some other European projects that uh, follow, uh, were, have been acted before Adriplan. But apart from that, there are no particular indication. A Diplan project is an initiative, as I told you before, supported by DG Mare, and the, it was fought for the Mediterranean area. Uh, I told you that is a test in the sense that uh, we don't have any f legal framework in terms of MSP in the Adriatic Sea in particular. Uh, uh, it's a test before, for the first time, we try to to, to define at least a scheme of MSP plan for the Adriatic Union region. And then also because the, uh, how can I say, we can use it as a, uh, a platform for future initiatives and future development. The main aim of our project is uh, defining a methodological approach to maritime spatial planning in a region that uh, never seen any initiatives in these terms, uh, uh, apart an important project that, f that has been done before um, uh, our other plan that is the Shea project. Um, the project is supported, as I told you, that DG Mare is involved uh, a large number of partners. Uh, is the lead partner is the National Research Council of Italy. The University U of Venice, in particular, support the definition of a plan because we are an institution devoted to uh, environmental and local planning, in particular. Uh, U of is the old Institute of Architecture in Venice that now uh, takes care also on the aspect related to planning to planning issues. Uh, the large number of partners uh, are of mainly of two kinds, in the sense that there are some partners that are directly involved in, in the project to define and to design the MSP proposal for M from the Adriatic Union region, uh, but at the same time uh, we succeed to involve the most part of regional governments uh, 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 that uh, uh, are based along the Adriatic and Union region. This is because uh, uh, we think and we thought when we were designing the project that uh, it's uh, absolutely relevant uh, that these kind of initiatives uh, has and have an interaction and, and, uh, and the support of local institution. Also in terms of uh, if the final, uh, if, uh, if the final uh, aims of a project is define a scheme of MSP, MSP plan, it's, uh, how can I say an obliged way to pass through uh, the regional government. That especially in Italy, but also in the basin of the Adriatic, Adriatic Union region and more in general, have a strong competences related, related with, with the planning system. Yeah, apart from the, the main partner and the supporting partners in the project, we have some uh, uh, a wide list of observers. Observers are usually some experts, some particular institutions that in some country, for example in Albania, in Montenegro, or, or in Slovenia, in Croatia, uh, support the project, uh, how can I say, uh, helping us to involve local stakeholders. So local stakeholders, especially coming from the institution uh, representative, but also coming from the private, uh, from, from from the, pri the private sector. Uh, 
Uh, I told that uh, we, we set up a project in the Adriatic Union region, uh, and the first problem that emerged when we started the project in, uh, after, during the, at the end of 2013 and the beginning of January, uh, it was the fact that uh, nobody, or nobody from our perspective, uh, um, defined with a real border where the Adriatic Union region terminates. Because there are some indications in terms of, uh, obviously, previous studies uh, elaborated by, uh, in, spe in specific disciplines, for example. But uh, absolutely, from the planning perspective, uh, there is not a limit of the, of the Ionian Sea, in the sense that uh, a, 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 a European Union is, is open a wide debate uh, in this moment uh, about uh, the effort to support the economic development of the Adriatic Union region and uh, to define a, 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 at least a border in the southern part, uh, it was one of the first problems uh, emerging in, in the discussion of the project. In general, the Adriatic Union region, why? Because it's strategic location. Uh, there are many portal uh, infrastructure, for example. It's an area of high intensity of uses. It's an, a, an, a, an area of high environmental pressure. It's an area with uh, seven states and, re and, uh, and more regional governments operating at different level and in the different contexts. It's an area that is also the border between uh, member state and non-member state. So uh, this is another problem related to the, the fact that uh, not all the countries involved in other plan uh, will follow, for example, the directive on MSP and, uh, and, and coastal zone management. And it is another problem that we're trying to manage. The main, the main object of a project, uh, obviously uh, to define a, a test of a longer cross-border of MSP experiment, the sort of, of uh, plan experiment uh, to, pr to define which are the priorities uh, based on the knowledge that we have, based on the, the results of also the, uh, of the, of the previous project as shapes uh, and other projects promoted in the area. Define a concrete planning and management options, especially in the two focus areas. Uh, the project uh, f uh, defined the two areas, one in the north uh, involving more or less uh, the area starting from uh, uh, Emilia Romagna region until uh, until Venice, Trieste, and Rijeka, uh, involving all the top part of the Adriatic, Adriatic Sea, uh, and one in the southern part, more or less uh, uh, indicated in the in the part of the sea from. Uh, Puglia region and the opposite side, uh, including a part of Greece and part uh, and part also of, of uh, Albanian coast. Uh, the the real aim of a project is setting a real planning test, supporting the blue growth, and also including also the recommendation of cross-border MSP provided by by European Union. Uh, it's. Uh, it's just the, the, gener the general requirement that the project is uh, try to put together the indication of comings from the different uh, European, European directive. Uh, and, but at the same time, uh, the different step of a project, uh, we are more or less in, uh, in, in the central, in the, in the 1.32 uh, uh, step of a project because uh, for the first time, at the first time, we tried to define the area exactly which area we were we were to taking here to take care in the project, especially reviewing. For example, another problem problem emerged a lot from the pro during the activities has been related to the discontinuity between coastal and maritime issue management between one country and the other country, between one region and, and the other region. Uh, one of the questions that uh, the project is trying to answer is how to overcome the, the uh, interaction in terms of management tools and management system between one region, one country, and the other one. Uh, the other step is, is to formulate priorities, uh, elaborating planning option, and in the first, in the last part of the project, obviously, to finalize the planning, the planning proposal. Especially this step 
step will start in uh, will start uh, during uh, after this summer and will terminate with the termination of a project in July 2015. Uh, the uh, I mentioned that uh, one of the main aim is represented to the, the set trying to set the plan. It's uh, obviously to, we are not in charge, the European Union didn't in cha charge us to define the plan for Adriatic Union region, but at the same time we want to, to experiment the definition of the, of the plan. For these reasons, uh, we, uh, we, are, we are moving and we are doing with the, all the other partners to do our efforts to define, how can I say, a sort of plan that could be developed also by, by, by institutional stakeholders after the end of the project. Um, the, 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 the other topics that emerged from the, the discussion, apart from obviously uh, some, some elements emerge also from the presentation of this morning and also from the colleagues that, that uh, spoke before me, uh, it is how the, the, the effort to try to speak a common language between all the uh, uh, experts involved in this project. It's not, how can I say, we never spoke as planners with a marine biologist before. And uh, this is very, very, very difficult in terms of languages and also in terms of terminology that we use. And I think that uh, a test like Adriplan, but also with uh, as other projects that have been supported by European Union in the last years, are an experiment also to cross border, uh, uh, not only from the geographical point of view, but cross border also in terms of disciplinar borders. And this is very more difficult because if land planning it's, uh, uh, how can I say, defined talk in every European countries, MSP planning is not defined, it's not a common tools that used every day by local and public institutions. And it is created more difficult. The other, the other debate has been uh, on which the project worked in the first month is the definition, was the definition of, the, I told you, I mentioned the borders. We used some criteria to define the borders, some related to the the governance, some related to the environmental issues, some related to the, uh, uh, the, the uses of, 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 of the sea, and uh, we succeed using different sources of information. I mentioned, I told you that in certain way the, the borders of the Adriatic Union region has been set before, but in different disciplines, in different contexts, maybe for the, uh, the side of fishing, maybe for the side of geology, maybe for the side of the, the studies of, on, the, on, the, on the seabed, for example. But from the aspect of planning system, uh, we worked especially on this topic to define the two areas, one in the north and uh, one in the southern part of the Adriatic Union region. The two areas represent the two set, the two set to experiment, the two details, uh, how can I say, uh, test two details uh, plans uh, of MSP uh, for the Adriatic Union region. This does not mean that we don't say nothing from the rest of the region, but in the sense that we will provide a more strategic plan for the Adriatic Union region and two tests for the two pilot, for the two pilot areas. And these are the main. The, main. the other last topic that uh, uh, is emerging a lot from the definition of uh, uh, MSP for uh, for other plan is represented by the national and local planning system, existing planning system. I mean land planning in particular and environmental planning. Uh, how can I say, we're trying to do an effort to try to combine, to understand in which way local planning, regional planning provided by the different state involved in the project can be supportive to MSP definition and in which way the action included in land planning can be also of, uh, can be useful for MSP definition. Um, the most part of the data will be uh, 
open to the public also in the sense that uh, the other plan project has a, a, a common portal that can be very useful also at, at, at the end of a project. The last thing is related to the fact that uh, uh, with, uh, the other plan is directly connected also with a platform, with an with experiment of uh, Rasmus Mundus program on MSP that uh, uh, Venice, uh, Azor, University of Azores, University of Seville uh, is uh, opened one year ago and we are going to start uh, the, the, the second edition now. Thanks a lot. Thank you. So, totally different perspective from a far, far, far away region. <laughs> Any questions? Yes. Sorry for this question, but uh, uh, I've uh, seen that you said that you are planning for a perspective or um, well, until 2020. Uh, uh, you said you are planning for a perspective of uh, scenario 2020, that six years from now or five years from now, as Ludwig only uh, a few minutes ago has said, well, uh, they are thinking of 250 and even further. And of course, at the time when you'll be uh, well finishing your work, it will be even less than these five, six years, while all the users will, uh, well, will be there for a long time. And uh, uh, some of the users you have to plan are not non-existent now and will appear after the period for which you are planning. So, planning horizon, timeline. Well, in reality, the, uh, uh, how can I say, the, 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 the experiment on planning definition of, of the Adriatic in your region will use two time frame. One time frame is the actual condition with the knowledge that we have at this moment that is very fragmented because we don't have it closed. We have many, how can I say, lack of information, especially from the environmental side. The second step that we will try to use in the project is the, a scenario at 2020 that is nearer, not, not so, <laughs> so far. Because, uh, how can I say, uh, we, uh, if we want to stay within the implementation of a uh, uh, blue growth strategy of European Union, uh, we thought that is uh, essentially to, uh, to work on implementable condition and possible knowledge. Obviously, could be very useful also to make some, uh, uh, can I say, uh, uh, reflection also in a longer time scenario, but also the representation of a colleague uh, of Ludwig at the beginning uh, uh, proposed some good uh, tools also to do, to work in that direction. Okay, another question. So I think uh, you have answered uh, all the interested uh, questions, uh, and if not, then uh, uh -huh. yes. uh -huh. you have a question, yeah. please. Thank you. Um, yeah, maybe to pick up a little bit on, on a discussion which was there this morning on, on what to do if you are not agreeing on a border. And I have no clue whether in the uh, Adriatic Ionic uh, there is a, a, a EEZ established uh, with the non EU uh, country. Um, I was thinking that, that it's important to, to understand that you have a relationship, and, uh, but as soon as you come to mapping, you have to figure out something clever because you have to put a disclaimer or something. I also have on the... So, so that's, did you think about this one? This aspect is also, is this aspect, it's also, how can I say, the uh, real difficulty that emerges speaking with the other colleagues involved in the project. Because uh, they, how can I say, you say mapping, and you say that mapping is fundamental. To, but, well, but, and I say, but in, some, in certain cases can be very useful also to, to set up some uh, priorities that maybe you don't know uh, very, in a very evident way from the data, for example. But if you speak also with colleagues of other disciplines, uh, uh, the mapping is not always uh, a fundamental passage to define MSP. And, uh, 
how can I say, it's a, a, the problem of languages, that languages between disciplines that, uh, how can I say, it would be interesting to understand how it's going to be solved, for example, <laughs> in Baltic Sea. <laughs> okay, and now the very final question come from here. Yes, uh, thank you. So you have now defined the areas, and we've seen the very practical presentation from Lithuania. I was wondering, also coming back a bit to my question this morning about whether a northern approach can be applied in, in the south. Do you think you could follow such a procedure as presented by Lithuania? I don't know. Yeah, I think, I think, I think so. Yes, it's possible. Yeah, it's, if possible, yes. No, my... It, <laughs> We yeah, I guess then you have to have really good connections already with, with uh, different member states. And the availability of data, is it as easy? It's very, very, it's a strong problem, the availability of data, because, but we can overcome, we can also, we have to imagine it in some way. If we wanted to set a scenario planning, we cannot wait all the data, because otherwise we don't do the MSP plan. Yeah because there is a, a big lack in, the, in these terms. So we must try to figure out and setting the plan, even if declaring that there are some lack of data. So it's the only way that I see to define an MSV plan, because otherwise we stay the stop, we don't, we don't go further. Okay, I, I, I think we have to finish at this point. Uh, and you can continue discussions uh, in the evening and also tomorrow, uh, because I am certain we can invite also after one year or two years uh, the project uh, to our meetings, and then uh, uh, we might uh, hear even more certain answers.